hello viewers welcome back in this video we will discuss how to convert or scale a analog input signal suppose you have connected analog input signal in a analog input module like this one this module has a four analog input channel and you connect channel zero and if you connect the analog input signal measuring type is 4 to 20 milliamps you have to select here before i have already select the analog input signal type 4 to 20 milliamps now we need to know the address if you select the channel 0 or if you connect the analog signal in channel 0 then your signal will be 300 and all analog signal taken 2 byte means one word so it will take 300 and 301 so keep in mind that your analog input signal address is 300 now if you connect a pressure transmitter with a measuring signal 4 to 20 milliamps then your measuring signal 4 to 20 milliamps will convert in integer 0 to 27648 in analog module so for 4 milliamps it is 0 and for 20 milliamps it is 27648 this range but we are measuring the pressure from the process system but that value is not the integer like this it may be 0 to 10 bar range or 0 to 50 millibar or 500 millibar like this so we have to convert this integer value this integer value to this pressure physical pressure range and this is called the scaling now see this diagram and this diagram is called the state line diagram it is also called the linear state line diagram if we know two point of this state line then we can find third point value here if you know the x1 y1 value and x2 y2 value then we can find third value y if we know the x value and we can find this y value from the linear equation y equal to mx plus c we already know about this equation here m is called the slope and this slope can be calculated from y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 and divided this and c is called the interception value if this state line intersect in y axis here then c value will be 0 to here this value but for this case this state line is intercept in origin value where x equal to 0 y equal to 0 so c value is 0 now place m value in this y equation mx here so it will be like this from this equation we can say that y2 minus y1 is the range of output range of this pressure transmitter and x2 minus x1 is the range of your integer value analog signal integer value so for this case if the pressure is 10 bar y2 equal to 10 and y1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 27648 and x1 is equal to 0 now if the milliamps is equal to 10 or 20 that time your x will be 13824 half of the range now we convert this equation in a function here we already convert linear line equation as a function 
how to make a function or function block to use as a call block function please watch my other video from this straight line equation we can see the input are y2 y1 x2 and x1 and x plus c to get the output y we have to we have to declare the input here so input random input is x that value is integer and input low range is 0 and that also integer input high value is integer that is 27648 out value out low value is 0 or out high value is 10 but you can keep it as it is you can give any value as your requirement here offset c c is called the intercept value ok here is the output y value or pressure value like this now here are, we have create other signal that is called static signal we will use here for intermediate value holding so see here first i have calculate the y2 minus y1 that is subtraction so here out high y2 minus low out low y1 and keep it this subtraction value in out range difference which is which is declared here out range difference value now here subtract the value input high to input low here we have keep in keep it in this tag and this signal is a integer to multiply or division we need the same data type so convert this integer data type to real data type and hold the value in in range difference in real value now divided out range difference to in range difference make the slope like this then slope multiply this slope into input value it will be value mx like this it will be like this slope value into x it will called as a mx okay now mx add with the offset c will be output final output so this is our function to details create of our function please watch my other video now call this ai scale function block main ob by drag and drop it will generate a instance data block like this from here we can see that here is the input it will be random value of your um, 4 to 20 million signal and here is the in value 0 and high is the in high range and that is 27 4 sorry 6 4 8 and low value is 0 if your pressure value is 0 to 10 bar then you can give it to 10 bar here now i will give the input signal here piw 300 where we have connected the pressure transmitter input here now download the program okay now value is zero because the input value is zero value is zero now from the simulation table we will give a value or we will force some value to generate the output simulation table here address is piw 300 peripheral input word 300 ok this is the tag tag underscore 5 ok now I will set at 100 it will like this here it is like this and it is not easy to tell that um, the calculation is ok or not but if we give the 50% of this value 
then output value should be 50% of this out range that means 5 so 50% of this range 27648 is equal to 13824 so scale is ok so by this way you can convert your analog input to actual physical value you can use this function as much as you want just drag and drop you can use for other signal also okay thank you